Hey guys, welcome to Solo React Talk. Today I am going to be reacting to Stellaris All Cinematics and Trailers Part 9. Yes, I think it's part nine. Yes. <laughs> um, if you want to check out my previous reactions, remember the playlist card will be at the top. Just click on it and be able to access them. Um, yes, let's start. Three, two, one, go. Deep beneath the earth, tales are told of the ancient ones trapped beneath rock and stone. Just another tremor. Keep pushing. Soon to be discovered once more. Oh my God. Their memories will once again rise from the seas, the sands, the voids from under the mountains. Their secrets will emerge their history brought to life. Their existence known. And their power. Yours. Okay, it's the Laris Ancient Relics. Um, you know, I don't really get that many relics. Uh, I think I like I only get like one or maybe yeah, just one mission uh, where I get to find a planet and then you know you investigate, you create, you send an, a scientist to become an archaeologist to figure out what's going on the planet, and then. Of course, I'll get my relic prize in the end, but that's it. I only get one, and then I have to defeat Leviathans to get other types of uh, relics from them, you know, from their dead bodies and, or should I say, dead carcasses? Yeah, <laughs> um, you know, and then that's it. But I don't really get any other relic, um, and usually the re the relic that I get, right? Um, is the one uh, what is it called? It's like a the Rubik's or Rubik's um, relic that purple uh, like square thing, you know, that produces a lot of uh, minor relics, you know. Uh, that's what I usually get, and it, it's nice to have it, really, it is nice to have it because you get to sell off those minor relics for more credits if you need more credits for anything. Or um, you can use it for a mega structure that also requires uh, minor relics to, you know, complete it. Um, so yeah, usually I just don't get a lot of relics to collect. And I don't know, can you declare war against another empire that might have a relic? And how would you know if that empire has a relic as well, you know? Because I know that's what they're able to do to me. They're able to declare war against my empire if I have a relic. And it even states it there as one of the demands of victory on their side. If they should be victorious against me, then they will also take my relic. So I'm like, how come I can't do the same to you guys? Or maybe I can and I just don't know how. And probably I have to investigate that, but yeah. Because I really want to collect all of these relics very important very powerful um and yeah they're good they're really really good okay let's continue
Yes, the Laris Lithoids. Um, I've tried using them before. Like as soon as as soon as I got the pack, I have tried them, and yeah, they're, they're cool. They are cool. It's just that, like before, I've said you know in previous um, parts of my reactions to the Laris cinematics, is that I'm not really connected with other alien species as I am with the humanoid species. So I've tried to play Lithoids maybe once or twice, but then eventually I just gave up on it and then I just made a new game. Yeah, that usually happens with me sometimes, you know. Sometimes I make a new empire and I think, oh, it's going to be great, it's going to be cool. And then after like, I don't know, three, four weeks, then I decide, okay, I, I need to go back to my human empire or a humanoid empire because i really can't connect <laughs> with some of the lithoid faces you know the, the the portraits it's just so alien i don't know maybe you guys like them but i i don't know i just can't really get used to it um there are some that look you know nice like uh ones that look like a stone golem like the one we're seeing right now uh, that one's cool and then there's another one with like with three heads and then they uh, create some sort of psionic wave yeah those ones are a bit distracting for me um and you know like you know the one with the red with the fire face in the middle and then it's just floating like a floating rock yeah that one is also a bit distracting for me um but yeah you know the are a cool addition especially with the ships i really can't figure them out especially as they go you know higher in terms of like a destroyer then a cruiser and a battleship and then the um, the juggernaut like it, they're so weirdly looking and even the uh, what is it the titan yes the titan as well it's also very weirdly looking um it was unique like the first time when I was playing it, but then eventually I got, I was like, okay, I'm done. <laughs> let me go back. Let me go back uh, to having my ships have windows and uh, a form of structure that I can recognize. Yeah. Guys, I think I'm boring when I play Stellaris, really. I'm so um, comfortable with humanoids and comfortable with uh vessels that are not very unique yeah i think i've just realized that maybe i'm boring when i play stellaris <sighs> okay and in conclusion the signing of this historic treaty marks the prelude of an unprecedented era of peace, diplomacy, and unity. Putting an end to the devastation of a war that plagued our nations for too long. So today, we celebrate the foundation of our Federation. Yes, Stellaris Federations. I, I like this uh, cinematic when I first saw it as well. Um, it was short, but it was uh, like to the point and everything was just beautiful. I don't know, like I wish we could also have like a small little cinematic like this when we create a federation, you know. Um, like when you create a federation, yes, you get that notice uh, board information. Um, and usually with my militarist uh, 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 voice advisor, you know, she would say, this federation will make us stronger. Yeah, I really like how she says that. Um, and yeah, I, I like the message. And, you know, when it says, you know, these two empires have decided to set aside their differences to join together to form a new federation. And yeah, I like the image as well, the, w the way they showed it with the two aliens signing the documents and then 
there was a procession of soldiers um, of both empires opposite each other that was also very nice but i i wish we also had more like something like this as a cinematic um, that would open up to this new federation that we are creating um, but yeah this is a nice advert really like it Like really, they gave uh, the console edition uh, uh, people like epic cinematics. I mean, what is that? That was amazing. It's like a combination of all of the cinematics uh, that we have seen before. Uh, I I'm not sure when, from from which point to the to to which point exactly. But you know, it has a combination of cinematics, and then uh, they chop them up and paste them all together, and then they give it. Uh, this kind of like epic music behind it. So yeah, it, that was cool. That was really, really cool. It looked like a movie. Honestly, it looked like a trailer to a Stellaris movie. <sighs> and that's what we need, guys. We need Stellaris to make a movie in venture with Netflix or with Amazon or with Disney Plus. With anyone. I don't care which um, online, you know, TV, movie series, subscription, you guys just need to make a movie as soon as possible. Preferably, preferably Netflix because I think they are really spearheading that kind of, uh, you know, genre of games having a transition into TV series or animated TV series. So yeah, maybe Netflix, but yeah, they gotta do something like this. I mean, just imagine just imagine what kind of stories we could get. Oh, it would be amazing. Okay. I guess, yes, I think this is the final one. Yes, guys, that's it. That's it uh, with part nine of Stellaris Cinematics and Trailers Reactions. Um, yeah, this one was a bit short. Uh, the cinematics were all very short, um, but still very impactful in terms of the uh, content that was provided, like the lithoids, the ancient relics, the uh, federations. Uh, that cinematic is coming probably next week in Stellaris Part 10. That one's coming next week, the, the full trailer. Um, and we also saw another console edition uh, trailer as well and yeah they were all good um i'm still having my issues with you know the relics um and lithoids maybe one day again i will try them out but i'm not promising anything <laughs> i'm not promising anything oh 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 wait the cities the city portraits right i use those as well i use those uh because you know it's beautiful i actually like it how their cities are designed with crystals floating in the air like that and everything so i usually do use the um uh the lithoid portrait portrait cities yeah those ones i do use um but everything else yeah one day <laughs> i'll try again one day um, <laughs> and of course we saw the console edition which I'm still saying that we should try and make movies um, out of the Stellaris uh, lore if you can say that and uh, the cinematics and everything they should really Paradox Interactive really has to investigate whether this would be feasible for them to do yeah and how many people would actually come out and watch it and I think it's going to be a lot I think it's really going to be a lot of people you know, if they can get the proper voice actors and uh, the the right type, oh sorry, the right type of um, 
animation uh, you I, I would suspect animation like this that we see on our cin uh, on our trailers and cinematics for Stellaris animation like that you know uh, yeah I think it would be good I think it'd be really really good okay that's it guys if you like the video remember to give me a like comment and subscribe to my channel click on the notification bell if you want to be updated with my latest videos and i will see you next week friday okay bye bye